Hey, y'all. Uh, so, I got a story. Got a story for just a little story time. Um, <clears throat> but it's a lesson because, you know, God be teaching me stuff. And I know if he's teaching me, he want me to teach you. Um, and this is, excuse me, this is, this is a good story of how to apply wisdom in a certain circumstance. Okay. And certain, we should always be applying wisdom. Let's be clear. Okay. But some, sometimes, um, people will allow the, as, as Christians, you know, or people of God, people, believers, you know, Christians, believers, we'll use our zeal before we use our wisdom. And this is a particular situation where god made sure i use wisdom ahead of the zeal like the head here go oh i am so sorry welcome to receive and relate if this is your first time here and welcome back if this is not your first time here hey y'all hey <laughs> my name is prophetess tara um so yeah like i said this is story time this is something that happened and um about ooh. Has that been a year already, Lord? It might be. It might be about a year already. Gosh, time flies. Um, that this happened. Uh, this situation happened. Um, he reminded me of it this morning when I when I got up. And um, and once again, God when his confirm himself, I love him so much. I'm I'm out and about running errands, right? And um as I was driving, um a woman of God that I watch on here, I listen to faithfully every day. I love her. She is heaven sent to me. God is, she, God sent her to me. Not only has she taught me a lot, but God has confirmed a lot through her. Um, and her name is Stephanie P. Smith. And I'm telling you, I don't care who it is. If anybody on here, if, I hear, if I'm watching anybody and they mention her name in a negative way and I'm following or I subscribe, let me just, I'm putting the disclaimer out here. Because I know for, by the Spirit of God, He has confirmed for me that that is His straight up daughter. And so, anybody that I've heard or say something negative about her, I immediately unsubscribe from them. Or, you know what I'm saying? Or scroll by or get off they, you know, because I know for uh, as my, as, 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 as I know my name is Tara L. Walker. Because <laughs> some of y'all don't even know my middle name. <laughs> I know she is a child of God. And so I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there. I, I I know she is. God has confirmed her to me so many times. And when I when I tell you, even even here lately, the woman of God, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story, but but I'm gonna just say you how God, God is so awesome. I just last just yesterday, let me just say, lately everything I've been talking to God about, when I click on her video, either that day or the next day, she's talking exactly what I exactly what I've been talking to God about. And this literally just happened yesterday. I was praying to God yesterday morning, early hour, early hours of yesterday morning, and it was a specific prayer that I prayed to him. A very specific prayer about myself. When I tell you a few hours later, I seen her uh come up on my uh youtube and i played the video when i tell you that woman of god when i it's when she talked about what she talked about it's as if she was literally sitting beside me when i was praying to god it's that's the type of stuff that god does right it's not that once you get into your once you get into a really um close relationship with god ongoing right you don't always need a confirmation. I used to in the beginning stages, right? And that's because of my own personal life of being bamboozled, witchcraft, and all of that. You know, I ain't never want to go through uh, some of the things that I used to go to before when I didn't confirm with God. You know what I'm saying? Or have God confirm. But now, I, he, I, he, he doesn't have to all the time with everything. But he's such a beautiful and loving God that he'll still do it anyway. And I think he does it to just make sure we are still encouraged. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to know we ain't crazy. <laughs> and um, to know that we, he hears us. Because we just, you know, of course I know God hears me. Um, but it's, it's never, it's never, 
what am I trying to say Holy Spirit um like when he confirms that he hears me it's still encouraging for me like it's never like oh god I don't need you to say that no it's always still fulfilling to me when he when he lets me know he hears me and I prayed that prayer that morning. It wasn't even 24 hours later when she came on it. And this video was just one of the ones, just one of the ones that she released yesterday. It was just yesterday because it happened yesterday. And I was like, Lord, it's like she was sitting right there beside me. So anyway, I said all that to say because there's a reason why I said that. Um, um, and so again this morning, um, she like I said, I'm driving, and she um she confirms uh uh when god brought back up this story to me this morning before i left the house and um what happened was she said that the holy spirit was uh show her that um sandwich food uh that somebody was going to try to poison somebody and um to be careful you know mindful of what you watch what you're eating um going out to eat you know fast food restaurants and things of that nature and what i'm about to tell you is a story that that'll that parallels with that so my husband and i about a, about a year or so ago now we went to we had a day date <clears throat> and um we went to uh this ramen place up here i live in baltimore city right now and we um and the if you're familiar with the harbor the, the ramen place was over there by the harbor by the water and um both of us love ramen so we wanted to try this restaurant and it had got re good reviews and whatever on google so it was like let's go eat some ramen today so we went to this restaurant right so we sit down now mind you the restaurant i'm telling you this for a reason it's it's not that big it's not big at all as a matter of fact once you come in on the on this side like on your left side there's just like maybe four maybe five booths right in the middle there's that you know that um it's not a bar but you know like when you go into a chipotle i know people pronounce it i call it chipotle some people say sometimes i say chipotle some people say chipotle's but however you say you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i'm talking about the restaurant with the burritos and in the, in, the, in the steak bowls and whatever and you know when you go in there you can sit at them high tables with the high bar sto stools that's what they have like in the middle of the restaurant one or two of those and then on your right side there's a few little booths when i say a few i mean very few and that's it because because straight back is the kitchen and so it's not a big restaurant and I'm, it's the reason why i'm explaining the size of it um so uh we sit down to eat and i just remembered that god <laughs> thank you holy spirit he just reminded me something the waiter that ended up being our waitress was not the original waiter i don't know if he went on break or something like that when we came in but it was a guy at first and they switched i remember now lord thank you for reminding me that holy spirit ah it's a reason for that too wait till y'all what did i tell y'all what's going on so young lady comes to take our order very friendly very friendly very nice uh was not nice nasty was not you know and when i when i call when i call someone nice nasty you know how people be having that they're nice but they have that uh, um what's the word holy spirit uh I don't know if it's, I don't know, I don't think it's contentious what I'm trying to say. But they'll be nice, but they'll be rude at the same time. And it's, but it's in a, thank you, Holy Spirit, condescending way, right? Um, she was not like that at all. Very nice. And um, very good customer service. She broke down the menu for us because this was our first time there. We had a couple questions. And I also made my order a different way because it was a certain way that I was eating at that time. And my, I didn't want the same thing my husband ate. So I wanted to see if I could, if I do this, can I do that? You know, one of them type. Yeah, I'm one of them type people sometimes. <laughs> and she was very nice about it. When I say very nice, she broke down everything. But while she was talking, the Holy Spirit led me to her appearance and i love tattoos hear me when i say this i love tattoos the tattoos was not a problem it's what the tattoos were and so he led me to see 
some new agey type of stuff on going down her arms and everything i'm like okay noted <clears throat> but what really stuck out was she had a necklace on and i believe it was like the all seeing eye um it was because it, it's a year ago now so it, it was even it, it was either that or was some type of charm that i knew was equated to witchcraft and then the holy spirit just confirmed it when i saw it so i said okay our waiter is a our waitress is a witch noted so the holy spirit i said so, so i'm praying in my head so this is where i was talking about the wisdom over the zeal now somebody with a whole lot of zeal <laughs> and no discernment right because we, we we okay the, this is the reason why I explain the size of the restaurant. Now, I could, with the with my, with my zeal, would have been like, "Oh no, oh you know you a witch. Oh no, uh uh, manager, I need another waitress. Uh uh, get her out of here. Uh could have done that, right? Now." Or we could have asked to move to another table. And the restaurant, like I said, is not but so big. It wasn't but so many waiters in it. And like I told you, Holy Spirit just remind me that the one we had must have went on break or got off or whatever. So I don't even know how many was left in there. Maybe been like one or two. And then they probably had their own tables, which means we probably might have would have had to wait longer. But not just that. She could have easily, you have to use wisdom. I'm doing all that, right? Say I do all that. That bama goes in the back while our meal is being prepared and cast a whole spell over our food. Next thing you know, that later on that night, we in the hospital regurgitating our entire life up because we got food poisoning. You see what I'm saying? So you have to use wisdom. So what did the Lord have me do? I prayed. I pray and I pray and to this I'm telling y'all I never even told my husband that's how much peace I had about it I can go home and tell him now but I've never even told him what happened he never could skip the page. he never realized it either but because it wasn't for me to make a reaction like that right he it was a it was an awesome way for me to ex for for me to exercise wisdom he gave me and an awesome teaching moment too like I'm telling teaching y'all right now he was teaching me at the moment this is what you do in these situations you have to use wisdom right and so what i did was i said a prayer and i said father in the name of jesus you have alerted me to the to the uh fact that our waitress is a witch now that you have alerted me this is me and my in my i'm telling you i didn't skip a beat my husband didn't even know i said this prayer um <clears throat> when she left i said this prayer and I said, um, you have alerted me to the fact that this is a witch. What are we going to do about it, right? So he says, pray for protection. So I said, okay, Father, I decree and declare Psalm 91 over us, Lord. I pray, Father, that you put up a spiritual barricade around both me and my husband in this booth in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, that you cover our food, Lord. May we be not attacked by any type of witchcraft or food poison in our food or any witchcraft, period, on us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus over the crown of both of our heads to the sole of our feet in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray amen done done no hooping and hollering oh no y'all got witches y'all y'all allowing witches to serve who doing all that no you don't need to do all that the lord will take let me tell you something the lord told me in 2021 that has stuck with me ever since it was he gave me directions on something to do uh and uh, I didn't have the finances technically to do it. But he told me to do it anyway. And this is what he said. Do what I tell you to do. And I'll take care of the rest. And it has stuck with me ever since now. Right? And he has never failed. And he never will. Right? So that, that moment. That, that uh, Excuse me. At that moment, the Lord said it. That, I mean, he reminded me of that again. Do what I tell you to do. Which is pray. And I'll take care of the rest. So let me tell you how he took care of it. Y'all, 
So homegirl came back with our food, whatever. We ate our food and enjoyed it. It was very good. And because, see, see, I'm, I'm a uh, very, um, I'm, a, I, I've always been like this. I'm a people person. I love people. You talk to me, I will talk to you. And I knew she was a whole witch, and I was still carrying on conversation with her, smiling and everything, and knew she was a whole thing. Why? Because I was covered by the blood. Okay, so when she came back, because you know they'll come back and ask how your food is and everything, how was everything. Um, she came back, she asked us, and we were telling her it was really good. Thank you for the suggestions and da 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 da. So she's looking at me right, and as she's talking, and she's just like, "It's just something about you. I just can I have a hug, y'all." Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, hold on. Let me get a little closer. Wait for it. So before i could even say yes or no right the bama didn't even give me a chance to, to think about it she went i wish i had my husband in front of me so i can like because i'm a very visual person like i'm pretty sure a lot of you are um but i'm gonna try to do it the best way i can i'm sitting here right this is me sitting here my husband is in front of me and she's right here right and she went and took her arms to to go around my shoulders y'all i kid you not just say these say these are my shoulders right because you can't really see why i do like this these are my shoulders she took her hands and went around to like grab my shoulders to like squeeze and hug. when i say she it was like a millisecond of a touch and whoo it's like she went like this and her hands did like this but it happened so fast that if you didn't know like my husband didn't really know what was going on so he didn't know what was going on <laughs> but i knew I knew, and it happened so f quickly. She got up off me so quickly. It was almost equivalent to what's them um, what's them things? Tasers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When people uh hit you with a taser and you know go like that, I'm telling you, that's how quickly she she jumped her hands back off me. And it was like the Holy Spirit was telling me the fire. His fire was on me. The fire of God. <laughs> <laughs> listen because <laughs> let me tell you something about she be her this right here this prophet is this woman of god right here i don't play with no witches okay i don't play with them bamas i hate them they hate me the feeling is absolutely one trillion percent mutual okay i don't care how nice and friendly because that's what they do right that is their craft that's why it's called witch craft they blend in like regular people you're not gonna see them with the green face and and pointy hat wizard of oz they ain't doing all that why because that's too obvious no they gonna blend in and look just like me they're gonna carry on a conversation just like you they're gonna smile in your face just like you woman of god but that's where discernment comes in. That's why you have to pray for the gift of discerning the spirits and the discernment period, right? So I discerned by the spirit of God that she was a witch. So I already knew it, right? But she ain't know I knew because <laughs> she ain't know who she was playing with. Y'all got to know y'all authority. Don't be scared of them bammers. They don't have no authority over you when you cover by the blood of christ they don't have no authority you they can't they can try but they can't penetrate if you praying by the blood praying of the blood of jesus right so over you so she uh it was like it, that's what it seemed like it was like she was zapped she couldn't even squeeze her hand to squeeze me because as soon i mean as soon as she went to touch my shoulders she jumped back but she tried it. Let me tell you something. It was it's funny, right? Cause it was even funny then because I was giggling to myself. And she tried, um, <clears throat> she tried to play it all. And she kind of did well, you know, because she kept talking. <laughs> and, and 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 while she talking, I'm just kind of like giggling to myself. I'm like, yeah, you tried it, sis. <laughs> you which you ain't really my sister, but you know what I'm saying. You tried it, but you just you'll never try it again with me. <laughs> you know, you know, you can't not this one. Mm mm. <laughs> holy spirit said touch her if you want to <laughs> touch her if you want to so i want you guys listen listen to this listen to this story and take it 
as a teaching moment. You have got to apply wisdom. We can't always be knucking if you bucking. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, it'll trigger them. If I did all that, wah, 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 woo, woo. She could have she could have easily went back in there and did a spell and put something on our food, right? You can't do that. <clears throat> you have to apply wisdom. So let this be two teaching points. Always, always, and typically, usually my husband and I will pray anyway uh, before we get there. But just in case we may forget because you might be caught up in conversation or whatever. The one thing we always do is pray over our food before we eat it, right? Always, always do this. You need to be doing this at home with the food that you are um, buying from the grocery store. And you need to be doing it when you're out and about, okay? Um, pray over your food. Pray. Uh, woman of God, Tiffany, uh, Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery, uh, one, of, one of her videos, one of, one of her lives that I was listening to, one of these prayers that she prayed one time and I was and I and she taught to pray and I that stuck with me and I added her prayer how she how she how she said to pray over um your food concern uh food poison and witchcraft I um I started utilizing that I added it on to the prayer that I already prayed and what she says is to pray against scheduled uh attacks of witchcraft against scheduled attacks of food poison because a lot of them because they witches right and their their lowercase g guy is what they're led by so a lot of them be knowing you coming too right that's why it's it's when the holy spirit just gave me that remembrance at the beginning of the video i now i realized that's why they the, the waiters were switched why is the time why was that timing like that you know, why did we, why did our waiters switch? Like, come on, that's not just convenient. Nothing is, con no, nothing is convenient. Uh, uh, I mean, um, what's I'm trying to say? Uh, it just was too, you know, you know, it was too planned. <laughs> so they can, they can see you. They, sometimes they know you coming. They also can see you. Because they see in the spirit too, because they're they but they they see demonically, right? So they can see in the spirit, they know you what you and they can smell you. There's like some Christians I know, I've not to my knowledge, and I don't want to smell them bambas, but some people of God I know can smell demons. You know what I'm saying? So just like we can smell and see them, they can smell and see us, right? And then there's also like a light. There's a if they're really deep in their witchcraft, they can see spiritually. There's a light that that shines on you. It's the light of God. It's the, it's the light of the Lord, right? That shines on you and it highlights you. So sometimes you're highlighted when you walk into a room. Also, um, case in point, let me tell you something I know that some of y'all to resonate with. You ever go into an establishment, no matter what it is. For me, a lot of times it used to be the hair salon. Not my hair salon that I'm in now, but when I was younger and I used to go to a hair salon. I mean, when I walked in the door, you would have thought I was a celebrity. I kid you not, I, celebrity. I kid you not. I'm not even. I'm not even trying to gas myself up. The way everybody would turn and look at me, and not even just look at me, but just would stare. It was like because I didn't know myself and, and God like that back then. It was so unnerving. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, what are you looking at? Like, it was so nerve wracking. I could walk through the mall, same thing. Walk through the mall, people just stare. Um, that's because you have a light of God on you. You have a light that's on you. Um, and so they can see that. So I'm pretty sure that's why they switched. <laughs> she probably saw me come in. And so, yeah, but she ain't know. She ain't know. So let this be a teaching lesson. Always, always, always pray over your food. Pray against the scheduled food poison, scheduled witchcraft attempts over over your food. I'm thankful that Tiffany did said that that day because I've been applying that prayer since. I've been adding it to my prayer ever since. And um, and also use wisdom. Use wisdom. Pray to God for wisdom. Pray in your head real quick. The Lord never sleeps nor slumbers. He's omniscient and omnipresent. He is everywhere at all times, every day, of every, every morning, every afternoon, every night of every day. Okay? He never sleeps or slumbers. So he's always listening. Say a quick prayer in your head. Holy Spirit, 
you alerted me to this. What we going to do? What we going to do? And he will give you the directions. Okay? All you got to do is pray. Like the Lord said, do what I tell you to do, and I'll take care of the rest. And did he not take care of us? And we just, we left after we finished. We paid for our food, left, went on back home on Murray little way. I never even opened up my mouth and told her. I actually, I actually forgot about it after I left, you know. But uh, this morning when I was getting up, getting ready to, uh, to leave out for the um, my errands, he reminded me of that. And I was like, you know what, Lord? I think that's a good teaching uh T a teaching moment let me if you allow me to go on here and give this uh story to the people uh because it's a it's a it's a very good teaching moment so i hope you all uh i hope you all uh i hope this blessed you <laughs> i hope this blessed you i hope you remember this when you were out in establishments and you see something like that or if God gives you the God gives you the discernment that somebody around you is a witch. Ask God for wisdom. Now, when it does apply for you to hoop a holler and go off, uh, in church, in church, when you see these, when you see them bammers in church and they blending in like, and you you know by the spirit of God that they trying to put witches that witchcraft on somebody in the church or who that's when you can go off okay <laughs> that's when you can go off and i mean go all a a w f okay and pray against them bamas and pray in the spirit and have god um dismantle and destroy and desecrate assassinate and annihilate their wicked plans and agendas that's when you can go off another time you can go off is three four five o'clock in the morning when the holy spirit wake you up like i've been doing consistently lately especially lately and praying against them bamas that's when you can go awf okay <laughs> but yeah so when you're in public establishments like like that apply wisdom you all and i hope this blessed you and if it has um there are ways to sow to the ministry and it will be in the description box below also if you are um in need of or are considering some coaching services please allow me to be your coach let me help you cultivate your goals and grow and help you grow uh and uh you can schedule uh for for that at my website www.receiverrelate.com and uh, hit the scheduling tab and you can schedule yourself for some coaching sessions. Um, also, I have an upcoming book called Cage Girl. This is my memoir, part one, story of my life, the part one, okay? Part two will be out later on. And um, I am self-publishing, y'all, so give me grace uh, because I want to make sure, you know, it's grammatically you know, good as possible for y'all. Okay. It's my first book. So give me grace. <laughs> and, um, I pray in the name of Jesus that it is published within the next couple of months or so y'all be praying too. Okay. Um, but you can sign up and join the waiting list to get it or to be the first one to know about it. Um, on receive and relate also, or on my personal website, which is Tara Walker worldwide.com. Either one of those, both of those have the uh, waiting list to join for the book uh called cage girl okay that is it for today you all i am uh, so happy i was able to come and give you this story time today i hope it blessed you i really did because it blessed me um uh, and look as yeah i was telling y'all god was giving me more revelation because that's just how beautiful and amazing he is okay um if you do not have a relationship with christ I encourage you to get one. If you do not know Christ, I encourage you to accept him into your heart as your personal Lord and Savior and uh, decree uh, that he died on the cross for you and that he rose on the third day. And he loves you with more love than you will ever, ever, ever fathom to understand. And uh, he welcomes you with open arms. Okay, so with that said, I love you, but God loves you more. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.